Meet Turning Tables, a bar training program for black and brown restaurant workers. Uh, the visionary program creates career pathways for hospitality workers, and I'm sure there's part of that cut off. Bar work is a common career path in the cocktail-loving city of New Orleans, but finding stability and upward mobility in the hospitality industry is a challenge, particularly for young workers who face racist assumptions about their abilities and dedication. Might I remind you, this is an article published in April of this year. To combat this issue, industry veteran Torre Folks developed Turning Tables, a 12-week program that gives black and brown aspiring hospitality professionals a 360-degree view of the spirits, beverage, and hospitality industries. Turning Tables is the only organization in New Orleans that offers what we do, says Folks. It provides technical training, education, industry exposure, job placement, and extensive community resources, including mental health care. During Rum Week, for instance, the cohort tours a local distillery and learns about tasting and the process of making sugarcane-based spirits from Ari Bollard, a recent graduate of the Turning Tables program. Just as importantly, they are taught the historical context of the sugar and rum trades and their intrinsic links to slavery. It gives the student, no matter what their background is, an understanding of how history impacts the world, says local mixologist Denisia Head, who leads the convention. I don't know, did you see one? I just... <laughs> it's an emotional discussion, but one that offers precious context to the students, many of whose ancestors could have toiled in the region's cane fields to create the very industry they work in now, and a reminder that the story of rum is theirs as well. Bartending only scratches the surface, adds folks. There's also a lack of representation in production, distribution, and sales. The reason we go so deep into the other aspects is to show them how to transition from behind the bar. Turning Tables alumna Erica Flowers learned to mix drinks from bartenders she worked with as a server at restaurants around New Orleans. During the pandemic, she launched Taste of the Tropics and sold bottled cocktails inspired by her Belizean heritage, which led her to Turning Tables. Before I even reached the finish line of the program, my cocktails improved and I was hosting cocktail pop-ups with confidence. Before she was through with the program, she had a job offer from Cane and Table, where she had been doing her externship. Last year, she was selected as one of the best new bartenders of 2023 by Punch. It sounds like she was someone that wouldn't even need a program that gives free money based on skin color. It sounds like she was someone who had actual skill and dedication to wanting to do this. Have you seen The Final Destination? Even in 2009, movies went wild. What? That's very random and not at all related to anything here. Now as a guest teacher, Flowers continues the rum week lessons with more history, as well as tastings of different styles of rum from around the tropics, giving the class the opportunity to sample and compare flavors they may not have had the opportunity to before. Cane and Table, you just got the name pun? That's actually clever! Flowers also led the class in a cocktail competition inspired by Speed Rack, the long-running series of events raising funds for breast cancer research and raising the profiles and experience of female bartenders across the country and beyond. Classmates went head-to-head -head making daiquiris to be judged on taste, temperature, time, and presentation. The matchup, a fun outlet at the end of a long few days of lessons, also offers a chance for students to receive direct critiques on their abilities and an opportunity to experiment with their own takes and variations on the cocktail. It's an opportunity to take the legacy of rum and spirits built by their ancestors and make it their own. Folks connects every turning table's participants with mentors and externships, both local and nationwide to help them discover and secure careers in the beverage industry. Since the program launched in 2019, more than 35% of graduates have been hired directly into management or leadership positions, like lead bartender, bar manager, and wine director. Our externships develop leaders, entrepreneurs, and visionaries, said folks. Turning Tables alumni can make both immediate and long-term social impacts within the industry that are long overdue. And then uh, here's a Turning Tables website. Uh, equity, diversity, leadership, and career pathways in the bartending community. Turning Tables began in 2019 in partnership with New Orleans industry nonprofit and youth career development organizations. Our vision was to create a bar training program that reflected the city we serve. Turning Tables was built by industry mentors and introduced to New Orleans with its first graduating class of externs in 2019. 
What we found that year was a thirst for community within the hospitality industry among black and brown bartenders at all stages of their careers. Our roots are visibility and mentorship. We are the tastemakers and leaders in our industry. This is what sets us apart from other bar training programs. Turning Tables advocates for equity in the hospitality industry by providing mentorship, educational tools and platforms for exposure and a system of support for the black and brown communities of New Orleans. Turning Tables is changing the face of hospitality by cultivating leadership and creating a model for equitable access to career pathways. Turning Tables provides both inexperienced and rising black and brown hospitality professionals with culturally responsive education, training, mentorship, and resources necessary to assess real opportunity. Throughout the program, we surround our students with a diverse and committed community of support that empowers them to understand their worth and chart a revolutionary new path for themselves. Woven into the fabric of our externships is a real life application. We put our curriculum to practice by providing on-location training in New Orleans' top restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and music venues. These training spaces provide individual students with a weekly assigned externship opportunity. This unites the class with spaces to learn about different types of service. Our holistic approach to cocktail apprenticeship ensures there will be a support system for externs after training. Our community partners provide essential services to ensure sustainability and longevity within the industry. Well, you can uh, donate or partner with them. What, are, what, are, what happens if I click on supporting partners? Partners and sponsorships. Turning Tables is building an ecosystem of invested funders, nonprofits, hospitality industry leaders, and community members who collectively make big strides towards our mission of facilitating opportunities for growth and economic mobility for service workers in New Orleans. And they have uh, Tales of the Cocktail, New Profit, the Rosa Mary Foundation, Greater New Orleans Foundation, uh, J. Rue and Loren Impact Fund, the Bayou District Foundation, Another Round, uh, Another Rally, Black Community Commitment, Cliff Bar Foundation, Rockwood Leadership Institute, Y. Schaupt Family Foundation, and the Baton Rouge Area Foundation. And they got more down here, Whistle Pig, Campari, Sazerac, Bacardi, uh, Terra Mania, Tito's, Handmade Vodka, uh, Diossi, Debussy, Hotelling & Co, Importer & Distiller, Pernod Ricard, Cathead Distillery, Jägermeister, Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey, and uh, Haven Hill, Bottled & Bond. I don't recognize half of these, but I know some of them. I know fucking son of them. Tito's, no shit, I guess so. I fucking guess so. That was, that was interesting. <laughs> Do not debussy. Fuck, Whistle Pig is good. I've never heard of it. Whistle Whistle Pig is one of the ones I've never heard of. I've only heard of uh, Sazerac, Bacardi, Tito's, and uh, Jägermeister. The rest, the rest of them I've never heard of. Sazerac owns a lot of brands. Oh, God. Good thing you're not a big... Sorry about your debussy. <laughs> God, it really has to be in everything. It does. Speaking of going woke, did you see the NOAA documents you dropped in suggestions? You think it's concerning that people who do our weather predictions and emergency weather services are doing DEI hiring? I did not. I did not see that. If you would like to, like, reply to your message and ping me, that would that would be helpful. No, Sazerac! We have a Mr. Sazerac in my chat. I wonder if he's THE Sazerac. <laughs> Let's be honest, some of these companies are so big they don't even know what they're supporting, but on the other hand, ew. I mean, yeah, some of these companies are probably just like, oh, this is this is a diversity initiative, here, have some money. That's, that's probably how the conversation goes. <laughs> Tito's is one of three liquids you drink. The others are water and gamer subs. I'm sorry, Hayden. I, I'm sorry to ruin this for you. 